Hey, hey guys, a long time no see. I am really gonna try and get so much better about vlogging. Of course, now that we are all quarantined into our homes, um, I thought that I would just kind of prop up a camera and show you guys. I'm trying to keep everything as normal as possible for my kids. My um, my kids are doing all non-NTI, I think is what it's called. It's all like online schooling and everything. They're doing really good with it. And um, <laughs> normally we have breakfast by now, but we're not having breakfast as early as we normally do but like i said we're still trying to keep a routine so i'm gonna make breakfast uh for the kids and everybody and yeah real quick if you guys are new here um you're not gonna know this but i have like a probably a really unhealthy obsession with caffeine including bang <laughs> a lot of you guys told me i needed to try the candy apple crisp bang this is not sponsored Holy guacamole, I think I'm down to like four cans and I'm like, I'm cherishing you. It's so good, it's so delicious. So anyways, um, for my son, he has requested eggs and bacon and then um, Hill will be doing her normal, it's a mini uh, bagel, kiwi and bacon. Yeah, two slices of bacon. Oh, and my son gets berries. So I'll show you guys. Um, when I plate up their food and all of that stuff. I guess what I'll do is try and do like a time lapse right now while I'm prepping everything. Um, so I hope you guys are safe. I don't want to make light of the situation by any means. Um, so I hope you guys are safe. I hope you are in your homes. I know that this is like a crazy time and a roller coaster for a ton of us. Um, so thoughts and prayers with everybody so just stay in stay safe and we're gonna get through this like i i have no doubt we will get through this so uh like i said i am gonna time lapse you guys i don't know how long this video will be i don't know about you guys but before i get started um how many of you guys are doing your face on the daily and let's ignore the fact that my face is swollen i had a carb day <laughs> this weekend i was like really stressed out i'm not even gonna lie I was very stressed out, so I uh, became really good friends with all the carbs. I'm paying for it, but you know, whatever. So if I look a little puffy, that would be why. But yeah, I, I totally lost my train of thought on that. Oh, makeup. I have not, like, but maybe once or twice a week been putting makeup on, which makes it a little hard for when you have a beauty channel. It'll be fine, we'll get through it. Okay, I'm gonna set you guys down. I'm gonna time lapse everything so you guys can see what I do and then um, I'll plate it up and show you guys. Okay, be right back. Okay guys, so here is Hillary's plate and here is Hayde's plate. As you can see, I definitely make sure that the kids get their fruit because I want the antioxidants and I want to help to, you know, boost their immune system, their vitamin C, all of that. So this is, like I said, my son's plate who is practicing keto slash low carb. And him, by the way, he's doing a much better job than his stressed out mother. And then, of course, this is Hill's plate, which, as you can see, she is not practicing that, but it's still a, you know... It, it's just mini bagels, so it's not like it's a bad breakfast or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and give these to the children, and they're going to continue on with their schoolwork. One thing I did want to tell you guys about, if you are, if you're like me and you have stomach issues, I found this, um, actually I'm not going to pull it out of the fridge. You have to keep it in the fridge. Um, but I did get an extra one because this has been amazing. This is aloe vera 80 stomach formula. It's like under $13 on Amazon. I'm not sponsored. It's an aloe vera gel dietary supplement. I take this about three or four times a day. It has a bunch of different like healthy things in here. I don't know if my camera will focus. If you guys can like snap a picture of the label, take a picture of that. Like I said, you can find it on Amazon. And um, this has helped my stomach so, so much. You guys know that I have SIBO and 
we're thinking probably IBS as well. So of course, with all the craziness that's going on, um, it's been quite a struggle, but I know it's been a struggle for a lot of us, so I'm not gonna complain. So anyways, I'm gonna get the breakfast to my kids. Um, they've been getting uh, breakfast in bed and they think they're so fancy, so. Anyways, um, I will catch you guys in a little bit. I don't, like I said, I don't really know what I will um, be doing on this video. Let's see here. I gotta get some, I am like so like blah. Carbs and me do not work well together. That's for doggone sure. Anyways, I don't know what the rest of today's video will be, but I will be back. I may or may not have a face on. I don't know. I have a lot of editing to do today, so I probably won't. I probably will not have a face on, but that's fine. This is a vlog channel, and uh, we're just we're just making it through our day. So, oh, one thing I want to tell you guys is Hillary has come up with a um, Hill found. Uh, it's supposed to be a cookie dupe for the American Great American Cookie Sugar Cookie. <sighs> And it calls for like shortening and I know Crisco is so bad, but I found this and it's supposed to be, it's like made with red palm and coconut oil. So I'm wondering if this will work. Let me know down below if you guys have tried this. I know she wants to do some baking this week. So um, it's non-GMO and all kinds of like, it's supposed to be a lot of a healthier version. So we shall see. Anyways guys, I'm gonna hop off. I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so. It's, it's not the same day. I forgot I was vlogging because I'm such a profesh. So it is now Tuesday, yesterday was Monday, and it is almost five o'clock. So I thought, you know what? I want to get this video back up or up for you guys. I want to start getting videos back up is what I was trying to say for you guys over on the vlog channel. So I thought I would show you guys what I'm gonna do for dinner. Um, you know, obviously, we're all kind of quarantined into our homes, and um, I am trying to be even more, what's the word? I don't know, like using up more of the things that we have in our freezer and whatnot, which you guys know I've been kind of working on that for a bit. The hubs is downstairs working. Um, so guess what? So I found these these things okay they're like gluten-free bagels this is going to be more of a low carb type of dealio than it is anything else but on their own um actually my kids would probably eat them on their own but i'm being like change it up so i have these they've been in the freezer for a bit i'm gonna make little bagel pizzas um that's the humidifier you guys here so I'm gonna make little bagel pizzas like I said they're gluten-free they're kind of higher on the carb scale they've got like 18 carbs per one of these doodads but I mean I figure it's still low carb it's fine after my carb fest 98 over the weekend um this is this is very good it's fine so I am praying I have mozzarella. I have to go check. I don't know if I have mozzarella in here. Mm. If not, I have sharp, so we'll have a funky pepperoni pizza. Where is, oh, as far as sauce goes, let me show you guys. What I do is I always get this. I get this rouse or whatever it's called. And luckily I have another one because this one's not good. Ah, do you love like real life here? Oh well, it was almost gone anyways. What I do is I open a bottle of that and I doctor it up to my liking. So I add some garlic, I add some salt, pepper, and some oregano, and that's what I'm gonna have to do. And then I bottle it right back into there and I label it. And But I'm gonna be putting that on there with some cheese, which, you know, in my brain, I've prepped for this all day long. I have Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Real life, we love that for us, okay. So I was able to do an Amazon Fresh order, sorry, Amazon Fresh order, and I picked up some of these little pepperonis. These little mini pizza bagels are happening, guys. They're happening. I'm gonna go check down in the freezer and see what I have. But it's happening. We have black olives, we have green olives, we have onions, which I'm saving the onion for another meal this week, so it's not happening. Anyways, I have to go. I've got more sauce downstairs. I gotta check for mozzarella cheese, but I will be right back to show you guys how I'm gonna set these up. 
I'm gonna have to cook the sauce first. Oh yeah, yeah. You love how I'm so profesh here? <laughs> no. Okay guys, so this is my little pizza bagels. As you can see, three are gone. My son, um, he grabbed them. Are they approved? Okay. So they are approved. Um, I did a quick like time lapse or whatever you want to call it. And as you saw, it was the keto or the gluten-free bagels. And then I did the Rayo's sauce, some garlic, salt, oregano. We did some cheese, Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, and some of the pepperoni. As far as sides, you guys normally ask what kind of sides. I'm fine with like just a salad on the side or something like that. And of course, veggie of your choice, what have you, fruit, whatever. Um, for me, I'll probably just grab one of these and maybe a salad I haven't decided. I'm not overly hungry. I um, had planned on doing like a whole talk through on how I was making them, but then our governor came on and that's my five o'clock. It's like Saturday morning cartoons back from like when I was eight. I'm like, oh. Andy Bashir's on, gotta go and watch my, you know, governor time. So, anyways guys, that's what dinner is. I don't know if I'm gonna end the vlog here. I don't think I will. I'll probably catch you guys in a bit. It's gonna be just kind of like one of those, really? You good? <laughs> one of those random vlogs so anyways guys let me know what you guys do for breakfast let me know what you guys do for dinner i totally forgot to film lunches but whatever i'll catch you guys in a little bit guys so it is Thursday <laughs> this vlog has turned into like a week long um, so I just did some cleaning yeah I'm sporting PJs like I literally go through maybe like whatever and then at night like I'll shower get new PJs on I'm living in PJs and I'm not mad about it you guys know I'm a Gemini and I'm all about like might get fancy looking once a month that's about it anyways i am gonna go ahead and put a full face on or at least partial face it is a gorgeous day i have the windows open and um we're gonna probably try and take a walk i lost all of yesterday i was like so tired and so exhausted so I got the house straightened up, did the vacuuming, all that fun stuff, changed out my melt warmers, and like I said, I've got the windows open. I think I'm going to try and film as well over on my um, beauty channel. Not for sure what I'm going to film. I think it will be probably like a boxy charm sneak peek for the base box. I wanted to film that yesterday, but like I said, I was so tired. Um, the day before just kind of obviously the whole situation that's going on is really wearing on everybody and um it was hard i'll be honest with you guys it was hard because i um got my vitamins in and i had ordered my mom some vitamins and it was so weird to take the vitamins to her hey mom love you because i know you're probably watching this and not be able to like give her a hug you know like it's one of those things you don't realize how much you take those things for granted and then when you can't do it you know give somebody you love a hug it's like what the heck <laughs> you know so yeah i was pretty emotional the rest of that day and then um struggled to sleep and all of that stuff not just because of that you know but like just in general it was I don't know my mind you guys know you the ADD ADHD mind Gemini mind it's non-stop <laughs> so yeah it just was it was struggling because it's like the whole what if we are in a what if world right now and of course anxiety ridden Rhonda has always like prepped with like scenario a through triple quadruple z on okay just in case we've got to remember this and do this and that and that and that and that and that and that 
And normally my brain, will, I can get it to shut down between magnesium and melatonin and everything, but I don't know. It just, so long story short, I slept in today really late, like way later than I ever do. And I definitely feel refreshed. Um, it's still just, I don't know. I, it was just weird. Like throwing the vitamins into my mom's door, like chucking them in where normally I would have been like, Hey, gave her a hug, you know, and everything. I'm going to pop a picture up because I always worry about my mom because you know, she's alone, um, in her place. And so I always like panic worry all the time, even though she's, she, she's like me and she's a homebody and just likes to do her own thing. But I'm going to pop a picture in of what my mom's been working on. You guys see these wreaths? Hopefully. Um, so she, she, she got a bunch of stuff. She's really artsy. So she made these wreaths and they're so cute. And I'm like, okay, I need to step up my wreath game and I want to do my wreaths like mom because hers are awesome. So that's been keeping her busy. She's able to work from home. And of course she's got her puppy dog that keeps her company and, um, everything. But it's just, I don't know, like this whole thing which I have to watch what I say because if you say it apparently you know you get your ads taken off and that's my family's um, income right now and it's just wild to me of how much we take for granted you know right down to just giving our parents a hug it's just weird but we'll get through it I know everything will be fine I thought I was through this whole emotional part. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go play makeup because makeup makes me happy. <laughs> and I'm going to swatch some stuff. And that's one thing I have been doing is on good days, like just going and playing in my makeup. I found um, my Revolution makeup. Um, I forget which foundation it is. It's, I think, the matte one. But I'm like super like lubed up. So I'm like crazy hydrated. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely like so pretty, which I don't think I'm gonna do it today because it's gonna be warm and I wanna be outside because I need that vitamin D. Get your vitamin D guys. If you struggle with anxiety and depression, you need vitamin D. Supplements outside, whatever you can do, get that stuff because I know a lot of us are struggling right now with you know the whole <sighs> everything. So get that vitamin D. And um, I think I'm gonna be walking outside barefoot too, get grounded. If you guys, I, I bet you, if you're watching this Meredith, I bet you already know about this, but my natural um, doctor, he, when I was like super stressed out when I lost my job last year, I called and I was like, anxiety through the roof, depression through the roof, like I need your help, what can I do? Um, and she's like, take your shoes off, take your socks off, walk out in your backyard walk out front do whatever and um, I did I, I probably look like a loon I didn't really care but walking outside in your backyard was amazing and it, apparently it's like it's called grounding and the elect is it electromagnet electromat whatever I'm not in the fancy terminology <laughs> it's probably an easy word but anyways there's so much electricity or what have you through the ground that it helps to like balance out things it may sound crazy but i'm telling you guys try it especially right now because there's a lot going on so i will be doing that today but right now like i said i'm gonna go play so i will catch you guys in a bit um maybe once i get my face on i'll um in the video for you guys so i can actually get it up so anyways see you guys in a bit okay guys i'm back i have myself put together i just did this eye look is that not fun it'll be over on my beauty channel i don't know maybe next week or something i'm not for sure i took inspiration from kathleen lights she had filmed this um this video with not with Dyson but she was testing out like these two different flat iron products and I was like oh my gosh I love your eye look so I recreated it and 
It looks very similar. It looks a little different here, but whatever. Anyways, guys, it is almost three o'clock and I'm just getting around to eating. So tonight I am gonna be making Keto Sloppy Joe. It was highly requested from Hill. So that'll be made tonight. But right now, I think I'm gonna just make a BLT wrap and um, that'll be my my lunch, breakfast, whatever, until dinner time. So I may make some tea too, because my voice from talking so much gets a little like wonky. So anyways, as far as keto goes, I am not being strict keto whatsoever. Matter of fact, I'll probably have some goldfish with my BLT wrap. Um, my husband and I both have been kind of like, whatever goes, goes. <laughs> I will say I had some gluten-free noodles yesterday. I had a uh, um, Skyline chili cheese and some gluten-free noodles and oh my gosh, they were good. Let me show you guys actually. I know it's not keto, but you know, we're just, we're not being strict here. Oh, don't, don't, don't fall. Okay, okay, ready? Here we go. Nothing's changed, that's still a mess. So the Barilla gluten-free noodles that's what we had yesterday with some Skyline chili and cheese. I mean, let's be honest, guys. It's not like, like, we can get to the grocery store, but the grocery store, well, I have to be careful. My husband actually is one who typically goes, or I try and get um, the Amazon Fresh. But, um, I mean, even if you can make it to the grocery store, it's pretty limited. So, I'm not going to worry about being obsessively strict with keto. Um, I'm just not. I, I think that there's enough stress going on in the world. So, I'm not going to add to that by not, you know, being in extremely strict. So, there's that. But, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is um, I'll go ahead and make my lunch for you guys. And then show you guys everything and... Then I'll probably end today's vlog. Like seriously, is that not fun? Just a little pop of color. Um, you guys know I love playing in makeup and I told you guys I found my Revolution makeup. I think it's called Conceal and Define maybe? I don't know, that foundation and I'm loving it. And I, I'm not one to wear, I think what's helping, hold on, you know what, I know this isn't the beauty channel, but it's a vlog and it's random and it's been a while, so you know, friends are chatting. But let me tell y'all, so what I did, and I think this is why I'm loving it so flippin' much, is I am mixing, hold on, let me show you guys, I'll have to like talk about it on my beauty channel. I am mixing two products that I think is giving me the extra hydration that my skin loves. It's not not just this alone, but this is the BB Plus by Gerard Cosmetics Illumination in the shade Grace. But what I do is I take a little pump of that and then I mix like two to four drops of my Farsali. This is the liquid glass that we got in BoxyCharm. Mix that together and put it on and it's like this really pretty radiance plus the hydration of the Farsali. So it's like, I think that's what's helping when yeah, conceal and define when I'm using that. And by the way, if you're curious, I have to actually mix F12 and F7 to get a shade that looks semi-decent and semi-matchy. So yeah, I've been back to wearing foundation and concealer, but it's like my, and even trying to contour my nose. Like, who is she, you know? Okay, I'm gonna hop off because I am hungry. I am gonna make some tea. What I've been doing, guys, um, I've been trying to incorporate green tea in with whatever tea I drink. For example, I always tell you guys I'm going to hop off and then <laughs> Mario Povich. And that turns out that was a lie. I think what I'm going to do, oh, I may just do this one. Throat coat. This is by, um, traditional medical, I don't know. It's an herbal supplement type of tea. But what I do I haven't tried this one in forever, but I'm gonna do this one. And then I put a little bag of green tea in there as well because you need all the antioxidants you can get. So I mix those together and then, I don't know if it'll be good. All my other teas that I use, I normally just kind of put some of my collagen in there. We'll see. But this is Lemon Echinacea, which 
Echinacea is really good. It might be good. Be like a vanilla lemon. We'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna make some of that up and let that seep while I'm making my um my meal. So catch you guys in a second. I'll fast forward. Time lapse. Whatever. Here is my lunch. So I've got a few of the almonds on here and then you guys saw me make the BLT wrap. And I did a little bit ago, you guys saw while I was cooking, I did the stomach formula. This is the concentrated aloe vera gel. And I think I talked about this already in this vlog, but you just do a cap full of this and dilute it in some water. And I have noticed a huge difference. I use this two to three times a day before I eat, love it. As far as my tea, I will tell you guys, it's over here and it is actually really good with my vanilla collagen in there from Perfect Keto. So this tastes really good and that's gonna be my meal. Okay guys, so that's gonna be all for this vlog, multi-day vlog that went way longer than I expected, but I'm hoping um, to just get back into the swing of things between filming on the beauty channel and over here for you guys and showing you guys, I guess, what we're, I mean, you guys know me, I didn't really leave the house before. So for me, nothing's really changed as far as that goes, other than I have my entire family with me for the most part. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys are safe. I hope you are well. Um, I hope you're enjoying this time with your family. If you are getting to have your children there and everything like that, my kids are homeschooling right now and they actually are really enjoying it and I'm enjoying it as well. So anyways, I'm going to hop off. Don't forget to follow me over on social medias. Um, my Instagram I know I don't put too much keto information over there on my Instagram. Um, it's mostly more of the beauty content that I put up. So anyways, real quick, I did pick a winner for the chocolate era. I need to go back and I need to um, put it in there, but that that giveaway did close and the winner was contacted by Chalk Zero and her um, $25 gift certificate was sent. So anyways guys, if you guys did happen to check out the Chalk Zero um, internet, the Chalk Zero website and pick up some of their stuff, let me know you guys' thoughts. That's what I'll probably be having for dessert. My son and I absolutely love the bark. I have some more of it coming. This stuff is amazing. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I would have shown you the little dessert that I made the other day, but we ate it. <laughs> it was part of the Southern Keto Cookbook um, recipe, which you guys know I love that thing. So it was like a, a peanut butter and chocolate chip type of thing, but I used some of the white chocolate chips in there by Chalk Zero. It was absolutely divine so anyways i'm gonna hop off make sure to hit that notification bell and subscribe because i do plan on like i said coming back and putting content up for you guys more often over here so i hope you guys like i said are safe i hope you guys are well and until next time friends as always i hope you have a wonderful beautiful and blessed day kisses from kentucky Mwah! bye